Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this coffee shop. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the windows and then the first um, kitchen cabinetries. So now we're going to continue working on this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this. It's because I want to um create an l shape and then actually we could we could add in a u shape so let me do that for now so let's go to 3d and then from here we could just edit so i'm going to edit the first one and then we could edit the the one for the void form later on. So I'm going to edit and then here, let's go back to level one so that we could see it properly. And then we could just create something like this. We're going to maintain the 650. So by doing this 650, and then we could just delete here and then trim this one like so and then we could just make this one as a one line we could extend this and then let's add more here so six fifty And then let's move it somewhere like this. I believe the spacing is good enough. And then we have some space here. So I could just delete here and then trim here, TR, and then TR here. So trim, extend this one a bit around, maybe we could put it around 800. So there's some room here for a fold up uh, countertop. And then let's just click finish. I want to look at it here. And then we could just move this one back like so. And to be honest, we could just delete it for now. And what I'm going to do is a different way of doing this. So what I'm going to do is um, we will create a void uh, sweep so we have a void sweep here we could pick the path which is we could use this path so let's create the path first the 3d path and basically what we're doing is we're gonna pick the path all the way around so we will have a kick kick plate on all of this path path like so or maybe we could just I'm gonna leave it like this only on the inside and then after that click finish and then click modify and then click edit profile and then here Revit is asking you to create the profile that you want and then we're gonna choose rectangle like so let's change this to 100 enter and then 80 on this and that's about it once you click finish and then click finish again and then cut geometry and then we have 
a sweep void like that that looks good and then we could click finish again for the rest let's uh, save it later on and then now we're gonna edit this again but only at the top now so edit in place and then select the top and then edit that top again so now we're gonna go back to level one and then we're just gonna use this pick line okay. and then after that trim and extend and then we could just delete something right here that I know is a small portion there. That's basically what the um, error was about. That something is over at the top here. So click finish and then finish again. Now everything is set like that. Um, we could also create something here like an overhang so we could create an overhang on um, maybe it's a good idea to have chairs here um, and then some bar bar top here um, we need to void this part then so that we will have and then this will be a pickup area. So let's edit this place and then let's select here. And then we don't need we don't need to select actually, we just need to edit. And then we could create a void form. And then it will be an extrusion. We will just extract something here. And but before that, we need to set and pick a plane, and we're going to select this. So, once we selected that, what we need to do now is we need to create the form. So, we're going to use a rectangle again. and delete that form for the thickness here we're gonna expand the thickness again so now here and then we could just move it like that and then make sure to void it all the way to extend this And then just use cut geometry so that you'll be able to see the void. And then here, what I'm missing is to put it all the way to below. And now it will be like that with an overhang at right there. Click finish. And then actually, we could just edit this again just to change the thickness of the extrusion. I'm thinking of maybe 35 or let's make it 50 instead a very thick like that and then we could actually do it on the same side as well um, let's create another void form and then we will pick on this side because I'm, I'm loving the idea of cutting here and then let's do this again all the way to the top there and then just click finish and then extrude it more as a void click cut geometry and we will have this click finish 
and the good thing about it is we can just move this one if we don't want it anymore and then even here we could extend the top if we want to so that's how good it is to have an extrusion an in-place extrusion uh, what I'm going to do is I want it to be overhang a little. And then also on this spot, we could overhang this. And then we could change the materials. So for us to be able to um, put in a paint on an extrusion, a model in place extrusion, um, we need to click here again and then click on in edit in place so now we will be able to click on paint and set a different paint on each of this um, planes so that's the difference between an in place and a regular um, uh, floor um, walls and those kind of stuff even ceiling you can change it with the paint so for a model in place you will need to do that so here I'm just gonna set this one with a probably a still carbon something shiny for now and then click finish and as you can see when I change the materials at least you'll be able to see that this is a, a material by itself okay so now our modeling here has improved we will have some shelvings here but it's something that we're gonna do on twin motion because i found a shelving that is supported with pipes uh, we could do it here but it will take a long time because of the piping uh, um, details so for now we're just gonna leave this place empty and then um, we will have that design later on that's why we're gonna focus on the interior here um, we're also going to add all the seating uh, in twin motion and then mostly uh, more on the the uh, we're gonna change add in the exterior and the interior part of this uh, building so for now it's just this but we're gonna uh, furthermore our details later on what I want here is I want to add in some detailed um, stuff here in this um, wall so we could use a reveal and the wall sweep for the wall sweep I could have it like this um, it probably will represent a column and I'll probably have it somewhere like that for now um, we could just edit this and change the material so we could have it maybe a laminate ivory for now so just a dividing part and then we could just add in some support later on So now let's do, let's add in some floor. So let's go to level one and then let's insert or add in a floor, which is clicking here, edit type, duplicate, and then just put in floor number one. And then edit let's change the thickness to 200 and I'm still thinking of which um, 
material I'm going to put here. But for now, let's add in a wood. So let's add in a Douglas fir for now. And then I'll just make it simple, just using rectangle. And then going from point A, so A1 to D3. And then from the outside. Click on finish and we have our floor like that. And then here, what we're going to do is um, we're going to add in our ceiling later on and some column on the walls. And we might add in a structural um, choice at the top here and then uh, I'm planning to add in some HVAC system just to make it look realistic so let's continue on the next video thank you for watching and I hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below